is up, Fleek fans, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about the 2019 version of The Addams Family. I need your thoughts down below. Did you enjoy this movie, and were you looking forward to it? Let's talk about it. So this movie is an animated version of the Charles Addams series of cartoons about a peculiar and ghoulish family. They're creepy. They're kooky. They are the Addams Family, and, uh, you know, I was interested to see how this kind of uh, reimagining of this franchise was going to go down, especially in 2019. I'm interested to see how many people respond to it, what the box office is going to be like, and I really liked the cast going in. You have a lot of great marquee talent in here. That made me a little bit worried, like, if they could capture the magic from that particular character. Of course, you have Oscar Isaac, who is playing Gomez Adams, Charlize Theron, who is playing Morticia, Chloe Grace Moretz, playing Wednesday Adams, Finn Wolfhard as Pugsley, along with Nick Kroll and Snoop Dogg and Bette Midler, Allison Janney, a stacked cast. And you know what? The cast was by far the best part of this film. They really captured the magic from their characters. They provided all of the creepy and kooky moments that personally I wanted to see. Unfortunately, that does not take up a very large portion of this movie. The majority of the film is a sloppy story mixed with mediocre writing and a lot of things that appeal to small children and really no one else. And here's what I always say about an animated movie like this. If you can pull in the kids, that's great because of course that's your target audience, but who has to take the kids to the movies? Unless they're like riding their scooter or something. Do kids ride scooters? It's the adults. The adults are the ones taking the kids into the theater, so the movie at least has to do something to keep your attention and keep you not infuriated and ready to leave the theater. And I'm not going to sit here and say Adam's family is going to infuriate people. There's a nice little message in there that they try to shoehorn near the end, and certain elements from the animation provides for a bit of fun. A bit of colorful, well, grayed out when the Adam's family is on screen, but sometimes colorful fun. Although I can't necessarily say I love the animation, because while it worked for this story, what they were going for, they didn't do anything beyond that. We're so used to what Pixar is doing with their animation, the, the films that tackle claymation, and some of these movies are just beautiful. Even Abominable had some incredible backgrounds and set design really across that entire film was really good. This movie doesn't have any of that. It's not animated in a way that keeps your attention, so you're relying on the story and these characters, and while the acting is good for the characters, I can't say the characters were written super well because their story is so uninteresting, and everything is kooky and wacky and over the top, but not in a way that makes you laugh. I wanted to chuckle so many times throughout this movie. I'm like, okay, they're setting up for a joke. Here comes the joke. Here comes the punchline, and it doesn't deliver. It's not as big of a deal if the kids are laughing at least, right? Well, in my theater, there were quite a few kids, and I didn't hear a lot of laughter. Now, there was one guy who was like in his 30s or 40s. He laughed the entire movie. Now, that guy is going to be the portion of the audience that enjoys this movie. If you are that guy, you're watching this film, you're loving it, and you like the style of humor, and that really is kind of what it comes down to, right? It's all about your sense of humor because this movie doesn't try to do anything beyond that. It's... Kooky, which is, I guess, part of what you want to see from the Adams Family, but I found it kooky in a way that was not funny. The guy sitting a few rows below me found it kooky in a way that was funny. You're going to be on one side of the fence or the other, and if you are a fan of the Adams Family, you're going to get your Easter eggs, you're going to get your moments in there that really harken back to the things, whether it's in the animation or the 90s films that people love. You absolutely get that. There are a few moments towards the end, and stay once the movie actually ends, because you'll get some nods before, during the credits as well. Overall, guys, I think the Adams Family is definitely going to appeal to young children, but no one else. Sadly, I found the writing to be completely lackluster. Nothing stood out. Nothing was special about the script. They did not write these characters in such a way that captured the magic from what we've seen from them plenty of times before. The only thing that stood out was the voice talent. Sadly, they were not in a better film. And it's really a shame because they really did. They captured their characters perfectly. They just didn't have anything to work with. And the story goes nowhere. And frankly, during the third act, I was almost completely bored. So I... I am personally going to go a 30% for the Adams Family. I was worried when they didn't lift the embargo until, well, I didn't see it until after the film, and that's not a good sign when you're lifting it right when the movie premieres, and it went down uh, the exact path that I expected to go down once I saw that. I was excited for a reimagining 
they just didn't do anything. And of course, they appeal to this generation of kids. They're throwing in the jokes that are for them and not for me. Another reason why I didn't laugh. All right, guys, I'm done hearkening on this movie. Thanks so much for watching this video. A lot of things coming down the pipeline, especially tomorrow. We have Little Monsters on Hulu and a little movie um, taking place in the Breaking Bad universe. If you guys want to see my best moments from Breaking Bad, the television series, that video came out earlier today. You are truly the best, and I'll be talking to you very soon.